Hey guys, welcome back. So in the in two weeks ago, we um, we went over how we can connect SQLite with the Rust. In this video, we're gonna um, add two more functionality. So we're gonna build on top of the solution that we derived in that video, and we're gonna add two more functionality. So first functionality we're gonna add is printing all the users in the database. So we're just gonna print all users, and then second functionality is we're gonna have the ability to log in so log in right so um, after set at the end of the video we will be able to print all the users there in the database and also be able to log in uh, into our database um, so for example last time we added Dave so when uh, when you in on CLI, when you enter day with the password top secret, um, it should print a message saying that locked in successfully. So that 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 will be our end goal. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create our print database function. So we're gonna do pub function print database. We're gonna reference self and we're going to re return result or user error. Then first thing we want to define our connection. Um, so if SQLite open self dot F name this is the same as what we did in the last video uh, with uh, line 26 with connection SQLite. So it is the same line. We could extract it out, but for now, let's just focus on uh, implementing the function. So then after that, we're going to create our DB. Actually, you know what? Yeah. So DB connection dot prepare. And then this time we're going to say select from users. So if you remember, users is a, is the name of our database. And um, if you wanted to see all the list of all the entries into our database in SQLite CLI, we would type select star. So that means select everything from users. And that's exactly what we're gonna um, say here with prepare. So once we do that, we need to print out the results. So let's just say print and we'll say list of users is as below and then while so when db returns it's gonna be we're gonna have to iterate through it so we're gonna say while let state row db dot next dot and i'll just there you go um, so how, if, if you're wondering how I got this statement, uh, like the state row, um, it's, it's from their documentation. If you take a look at SQLite's uh, documentation for Rust, they will, uh, let tell you, they will show you how you can iterate through, um, a list of uh, answers. And then we're just going to print every result tb dot read so we're going to read and the reading it's going to be of type string because username is type sync and uh, when we when we read the user it's going to be in form of this right so it'll be username and then password right so if you wanted to index this we need to say specify zero here so if you need to index username i mean you need to specify zero And we will just go ahead and do this. Oh, no, I seriously, but yeah, okay, there you go. And that should be it. Now we're gonna just cargo build. Oh, um, so for first, we're gonna, uh, forgot to add this. And we also forgot to add um, state. So we're going to have to define state here. State is from SQLite. So 
state and then let's run it again oh sorry and then we also need to return okay saying indicating that everything in this function worked fine and then oh sorry so lowercase k ah, there you go so now that's working um of course it didn't print anything that's because we're not even calling it here so we can we can go ahead and call it so we can go here and then instead of add we'll just say print database get rid of the arguments because we don't need any and we'll just say if it's okay that means success and if it's not then it'll print out an error so now let's run it okay there you go so list of users ryan dave ff and at the end we printed out success saying that hey your execution for print database was successful so now that function is done now we can go ahead and implement our login logic so for logging the only thing we need to check is if the password is correct or not so when given a username and password ensure that the pair is correct so we're going to create a function named password check self uh, we're going to need the username to figure out which password we're going to parse and then of course the password entered by the user and we're going to return result and set result what are we going to pass well we're going to pass whether if it's true or not so if it's true that means it was a successful login and false if it's not otherwise we're just going to return error if there was an error connecting or anything like that and then we're going to uh, do the similar similar um, lines we did for all of these functions so we're going to first connect to our database so we're going to say um, let con equal to sqlite open self.f name and then we're going to say let statement which is going to be equal to connection dot prepare and we're going to say select so what do, we, what do we need to select well so we need to select the password password from users database where username is equal equal to is equal equal to the username entered by our uh, user so how are we, we going to do that so now we're just going to go ahead and say well in that case we're going to say statement dot bind uh, first one and we're going to say username right simple now um, so statement is going to return the result um, for this one, we had a while loop. For this one, there's only going to be one user because the username is unique ID. And so we don't need to do a while loop to loop it over. We just need one statement. So we're going to say if let state row is equal to statement dotted by next. We're going to say let user so now we're going to read in the password that's in the database password is equal to statement dot read and once again this is going to be of type string and we're going to say zero so you may ask well why is this zero and this also zero so for this one we say select everything from users so that means it's going to return a pair uh, whereas this one we specifically said only select the password so if you can imagine it's only gonna um, return this right and this is not going to be list it's just going to be one so then we can just say if let row is equal to statement dot next um, then read string at index zero which is just going to be a password right so once we have that we're actually going to match the password so we're going to say, look, 
if password is equal equal to user password then you know what this is this is this is correct password so we're just going to return true right and um, if not then well it's false oh, there you go um, we also need to define false case so here we'll just say okay false so it was false and now that's it so to let's test this out now so we're gonna just comment this out and we'll say match db dot password check we'll say dave and then for password let's just enter top secret because that was the password if you remember from last video and then we're gonna say look if it's okay that means it should print true right because that's what we're returning and then if anything else just return user error db error ref error which is and then simply just print out the error message right and then error there you go so now so let's go ahead and give this a run cargo run what happened So let um, user password statement read. Oh, this should be like this. There you go. And it's true because the password is true. So let's just make sure it's not a fluke. So let's say false, right? Or sorry, let's say negative, which should be a, but that's not the correct password. So if you run, it should return false and which it does. So that's perfect. So that's working. And yeah, that was, those are the two functions, uh, print database and password check. So now if you wanted to add uh, more functionality, so first of all, you know, having password as string is a bad idea. You need to, there's uh, encryption libraries for, uh, that Rust uses, or sorry, there's encrypted libraries that you can use to make, uh, to add salt to your password and hash it and whatnot. Um, but for our case, we just had simple password we just did simple comparison and then we just if it's same we're going to print it out and now I, I do realize that you know you have to comment this code out and then comment and then uncomment this so what you can do is actually um you know what let's let's implement uh, arguments so user inputs so we'll say let argument whack string we'll say e and v arguments dot collect so collect the arguments and then we're gonna match so we're gonna say look if as str and we're gonna match with this login so hey, look, if the person that's uh, running the code is trying to log in, then what do we need to do? Well, we need to match db dot password check. So we need to check if the password is correct. And we're gonna pass in arcs of two and arcs of three. Um, this is gonna be as string as string. And this is going to return something. And then if it's, you know what, okay, res, if res print password correct. So that means uh, the user is logged in now. Else, 
go ahead and print password in correct right so simple and then uh, we're gonna have the other case where if it's an error so error we're just gonna copy this actually because it should be the same and then we'll do that so that's perfect um, we also need uh, so we need to also say look if it doesn't match uh, login then you're trying to enter a um, wrong command so print line and then we'll say input invalid okay and then let's comment this out okay um oh yeah we also need to import uh in before i forget let me import that use st d e and v there you go let's go ahead and run it use comma i forgot Go ahead and run it and it says index out of bound. Oh, right, sorry. So now we're gonna say run login Dave top secret, right? And it says password correct, which is exactly what we want. So now that means we're locked in. Um, not really, but that means our password is correct. And if, it, if there was any other logic behind it, that means we would log in, right? Um, and then you can go ahead and uh, you know enter another command saying login now say print and then follow the um, follow the same pattern we did for this one I'll leave this as an exercise but um, it's, it's pretty simple it's going to be the same uh, similar lines of code here as too and then yeah so I hope this video was easy to follow along and if you if you did not watch the previous video please make sure you do so because um, in this video I, I only added two functions i did not show how we can uh, how we created the uh, database in the first place the users database that we've been using so watch that video and on that video i, I go over how uh, we can set it up and come to the add point and then on top of that this video i just added two functions and then simple cli but yeah, have a wonderful day and catch you guys in the next one.